Hi everyone, uh, my name is Andrew Roanbeck and I'm the executive chef here at the Boca Raton Resort and Club. Where we're gonna show you how to make some really great nachos. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work with skirt steak. Um, we're gonna layer our nachos with some fresh jalapenos. You could be a big boy and go with the big, uh, the big whole slices with the seeds or little wimpy guy like me, you go with a little bit of uh, smaller diced uh, fresh jalapenos, okay? Of course, a little bit of onions. We're gonna layer those in there. Some beautiful fresh uh, pico, uh, fresh tomatoes, some cilantro, uh, et cetera, et cetera. A little bit of aged cheddar, uh, julienned up, and some uh, jack cheese as well. So some fresh avocado, some cilantro, and of course, a little bit of lime juice, which is gonna work into our steak and really make this entire dish pop. So. What would nachos be without nachos? When we're making these nachos is take your whatever chips that you have, lay them out on a couple cookie sheet pans and pop them into a 350 degree oven, okay? So even if you're going to use bagged chips, it kind of knocks the bag off them, so to speak, and it just kind of gets all that oil going again and kind of just wakes them all up. I, I would prefer to start to layer these with warm chips, hot steak, First thing we gotta do is marinate our steak. Like I said, we have this beautiful uh, skirt steak and our chimichurri. This is very easy. Sometimes people can buy chimichurri in the store. I made this, it's real simple. I threw in some cilantro in my blender. I threw in olive oil, a little garlic, and uh, a half of a lime juice, a half of a lime. I squeezed that right there in my blender and I just let it, uh, let it all puree right up. I let that go. If you can marinate this just for a couple hours, you want to be careful because the lime juice is in the, is in the steak marinade. I would say if you could give yourself two to three hours, that's great. What I want to do is I want to get a little bit of prep done. So I'm going to use fresh avocado. Okay, you got a fresh avocado. I'm simply going to take my knife, score a couple across there, little hash mark, so to speak, right there. Okay, I'm going to take a spoon and I'm simply going to just drop those right out into my, into my cup, okay? Look how nice and easy, okay? No fancy knife work, little paring knife, boom, 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 okay? There we go, so we have our fresh avocado. If you're going to do this ahead of time, you have to be careful that your avocado doesn't start to oxidize. So if that happens and you wanna get some prep done ahead, a little trick is you take a little bit of lime juice, you squirt that over there, toss this up, and that'll keep your avocado from turning brown, okay? Okay, and I'm gonna take my, my marinated skirt steak outside. I'm gonna put a little extra salt and pepper on it. Always wanna re-season, okay? A little pepper, a little bit of sea salt, and I'm gonna get my steak on the grill. There we go. Be patient, be patient. Don't start twisting and turning and flipping your steak around. Get some caramelization on there. Let all those herbs and everything do what they're supposed to do. Also, what I like to do is, and I have, I have one that I already started here in case we run out of time here. You get the gist. I want nice caramelization. I want nice caramelization on our steak. That's the way I want our steak to look. Little love on there, nice grill marks, okay? Medium rare, medium, okay? Depending on, on your guests, okay? So here. So I got my skirt steaks going with my chimichurri sauce on there. What I'm gonna do as well, I love this just before I take them off the grill. I take my fresh lime juice, I give them a couple squeezes right on there. What the heck, right? Now we're gonna start to layer. I'm gonna take a little bit of that chimichurri marinade that I have, and I'm gonna drizzle that down on the plate. It's all over my steak. You know why I'm gonna put that down? It's gonna act like a little glue. So I'm gonna put a little glue down and I'm gonna put my first layer of chips. I'm gonna to start to layer, okay? I have a little bit of my tomato pico. That's gonna go right on here. My steak is almost done. I'm gonna get my first layer down. A couple thin shaves of onion. All right, consensus is we're going with big boy jalapenos. All right, we're gonna add in some, the first layer is gonna have some really big slices on there. A little bit of our aged cheddar a little bit of our jack, and I'm gonna have some fresh chopped cilantro. I'm gonna sprinkle my first layer with a little bit of chopped cilantro. 
And I'm going to, most important thing with your skirt steak is, and where I find a lot of people make mistake is they, they slice their skirt steak with the grain. Okay, you wanna make sure that you're slicing the skirt steak cross grain. So you wanna spin your steak around, and it, a skirt steak's actually very easy. You can see, because it has very defined separation, you wanna make sure that you're slicing that cross, not with the grain. It'll make your steak very tough, okay? Totally different consistency. So I have my, I have my hot steak, okay? And I'm gonna to start to layer some of my hot skirt steak that's been marinated with that chimichurri on there, okay? But, of course, nachos wouldn't be nachos without the next layer, okay? I'm gonna take a little bit of that chimichurri. I'm gonna drizzle that on there. We're gonna go pico. Again, my cheese, my onions, very thinly sliced, a little bit of fresh cilantro. I got a couple more big boy jalapenos. I'll spread those bad boys around. I'm gonna take the rest of my steak, my hot steak. Oh, holy mackerel. Chef, those are some Mac Daddy big boy nachos, huh? All right, so we're there. What would nachos be without a little bit of sour cream on top? Big boy nachos right there with marinated skirt steak. Good luck with that, enjoy.